who painted this veteran from the 9th Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, said painting someone who candidly describes the first time they set foot on foreign soil as the time they jumped out of a moving aircraft and parachuted down through flying bullets to land in Normandy for D-Day makes Geoffrey one of the more extraordinary sitters I've encountered in my time as a portrait artist. This, the largest seaborne invasion in history, the operation began the invasion of German-occupied Western Europe, led to the liberation of France from Nazi control, and contributed to an Allied victory in the war. Operation Tonga was the code name given to the operation undertaken by the British 6th Airborne Division as part of the D-Day advances. The paratroopers and glider upon airborne troops of the division landed on the eastern flank of the invasion area near to the city of Caen, tasked with a number of objectives. Strategically important bridges which were to allied ground forces the sea landings had taken place. They were severely limited the ability of the German defenders to communicate and organise themselves, ensuring that the seaborne troops could not be attacked during the first few hours after landing when they were most vulnerable. The difficulties that led to many of the airborne forces being dropped miles from their targets actually confused the Germans all the more as they weren't able to gauge the strength of the assault. No fewer than 800 men from the airborne forces died over those two days. Some units lost half their men. 
they made indeed the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom they believed was worth fighting for. Something which forces fighting even to this day believe in. A baton that has been passed through the people I see before me today to the young men and women who are fighting and defending our shores even now. This note of sacrifice puts me in mind of some words of Jesus from John, John chapter 15 in which he said this My command is this Love each other as I have loved you Greater love has no one than this To lay down one's life for one's friend You are my friends if you do what I command I no longer call you servants because a servant does, know his, does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. The sacrifice of these brave people for our freedom is a picture of the sacrifice that Jesus made for all mankind and all who would follow him. And so I end by asking us all to join in with the Airborne Forces prayer. May the defence of the Most High be around and within us, in our going out and our coming in, in our rising up and our going down, all our days and all our nights, until the dawn, and when the Sun of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings for the people of the world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together... now by Lieutenant Colonel Timms, CEO of uh, Four Para.
So I'll make you thank you very much. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I will be very brief. Two reasons. One, the battery is probably going to go again if I'm not very fast. And secondly, these guys have been on parade for a while now and I stand between them and the beer tent. But I think it is worth saying a few, uh, a few words of thanks for a start. First of all, Captain Taggart and the Parish Regiment Band, thank you very much indeed. And also to the standard bearers and Terry and the pony, thank you very much. To the ACF and the ATC contingents, thank you very much indeed. And of course, to the PRA March Past and the assembled ranks and Sergeant Major Bland, thank you very much indeed. Quick of another uh, defence review, and for the first time in many years, we don't have any fears at all about this defence review because we're in such a strong place. Our manning across the, the three regular battalions and the reserve battalion is absolutely second to none. We in four power, I'm commanding four power. We are about to tick the numbers of 100% manning, and there's talk indeed of a second reserve battalion uh, being raised, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. The first battalion fully settled in the support group role with the Special Forces, and they are in, in rude health down in St. Athen. And two and three para now, finished the Afghanistan churn, now settled into the contingency role back in Colchester, and doing year on, year off in the contingency role, almost full manning, and in that position at five days notice to move to go anywhere in the world. And fourth battalion now, and I obviously need to make this point, because I was I joined the army as 16th Company 4 Para, and Sergeant Major Duffers was my, my, my senior permit staff instructor then, and it's with great pride that I leave Commander 4 Para now, and just so I get the message out there, 4 Para is now reopening a company in the Midlands based out of rugby, and we'll be launching it officially in two weeks time, so we will be now a 4 Rifle Company battalion based in Scotland and A Company, B Company in London, C Company across the north of England, and D Company 4 Para, based in rugby and to open a, a detachment in Nottingham as well. So the message I really want to get out there is the, the battalion is in, is in rude health, the regiment is in rude health and we are continuing to grow and we just need support and support of the PRA is absolutely humbling and these guys who continue time and time and I take pass off parades at Catrick and these guys are there braving in clement weather and out here again and putting all this effort in is really humbling and George thank you very much indeed.
This is now beating the retreat. We've normally done at sunset, so we'll just pretend it's sunset. This does mean farewell, goodbye. Well, that really is the final march pass. Thank you for attending. Thanks everybody that attended and everybody that helped. I've, I've had a wonderful day.